Good afternoon. My name is Steve Fink. I'm an Associate Athletic Director for Communications here at the University of South Carolina. It's my pleasure to welcome you to today's press conference as we begin a new chapter of Gamecock Softball. Today we'll hear, we will hear from Head Coach, excuse me, Athletics Director, Ray Tanner, who will share some opening remarks here in the front row, former head coach, and introduce our new softball head coach, Ashley Chastain. Coach Chastain will then uh, make her opening statements, and then we'll open up for questions from the media at that time. Following the press conference, uh, Brian Alden will, will coordinate with the TVs for some one-on-ones uh, back behind the curtain back here. So with that, I will turn it over to Athletics Director, Ray Tanner. I think Steve wanted to say the old coach that was here. <laughs> uh, thank you all for being here today. And there, it's not often that I get a chance um, to be in front of the media. Uh, many of you would say that that was my choice that I avoid you a lot. But I really want to tell you that you're here today. We appreciate that and the fact that you cover Carolina sports the way you do. And you're extremely loyal and fair to our coaches and student athletes. And that means a lot. So I wanted to take the opportunity to say that in front of you today before we begin the official announcement of our new softball coach. I um, also want to say that I'm extremely grateful for Hillary Cox. So Hillary, can you just wave? Just give Hillary a round of applause. She's the Associate Athletic Director in Administration and she's the Sports Supervisor for softball. So she certainly did a heck of a job helping me with uh, getting to this point today and I'm, I'm grateful for her support. Um, I'll try to be brief with my remarks today, but I want to say that, you know, we're delighted to have Ashley Chastain back. She was here many years ago as a student athlete for the legendary Joyce Compton. So please welcome Joyce Compton back. <laughs> Ashley uh, is the 11th head coach in the history of South Carolina softball, and she played here from 2009 to 11. She also served as a graduate assistant in 12. She's the first alumnus to be named a head coach since Boo Major was when she came here a number of years ago. Recently, she was a head coach at UNC Charlotte, where she's been extremely successful. If you, if you follow the 49ers this past season, she won the regular season championship. She won the tournament championship. She won 16 games in a row going into the NCAA tournament. Very, very successful. She had a number of stops along the way in her young career. She was at the College of Charleston as an assistant, Michigan State as an assistant, and Ole Miss as well. And while at Ole Miss, she was the 2019 Softball American Pitching Coach of the Year. She's done a lot in a short period of time. It's someone that I personally have followed her career because she's a Gamecock. Even though she might have been at other schools, um, we, we keep up with our people, and we're, we're delighted that she's back with us today. Also joining her today are her, her parents, the Chastains. We're glad to have you in attendance. And her fiancé is here, Robert Woodard. You may remember Robert Woodard. I think he pitched here on our campus a few times. Unfortunately, he did quite well when he pitched here <laughs> for the other Carolina. But I know that... Uh, Coach Beamer always says, welcome home. And we're so excited that people embrace what we do here at the University of South Carolina. Today is truly a time that we can say, welcome home, and it sticks. So please join me in welcoming one of our own, coming back, Ashley Chastain to be our softball coach. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all so much for being here. Um, I'm going to try to get through this without a lot of emotion. <sighs> I 
In this moment, I am filled with so much joy and just immense gratitude for this opportunity. It is truly a dream come true for me to be here today as your new softball coach and to be home at Carolina. I've spent many years here before and there is no place like home. I am just accumulation of many people that I've been around in my life and I have so many people to thank, so bear with me as I get through that list today. First, um, I would really just like to thank the Lord for blessing my life beyond measure. I could have never imagined uh, standing here today before you as your softball coach and um, what a blessing that is for me and my family. I'd like to thank my fiance, Robert. He got a great intro from Coach Tanner here. Um, we have the, the debate in the house of, of Carolina, so um, that's going to be fun to continue on. Um, but, you know, I couldn't do this without the love and support that he gives me every single day and now to live out my dream. Um, if you didn't know, but coaching is kind of our thing, um, and we're really excited for this next adventure together. I'd like to thank my parents, David and Renee, who are here in the first row. They obviously mean the world to me and um, everything that they instilled in me and my sister, um, it makes me a better coach every single day. I'd like to thank Charlotte, um, Mike Hill, Chris Thomason, everybody there um, in Charlotte for believing in me five years ago as a first time head coach. Um, you know, without that opportunity, none of this would be possible. I'd like to thank, thank all my former players there at Charlotte um, for their buy-in and, the, and their belief in me as their leader. Um, I'm really ecstatic is a great word to experience that with the current Gamecocks and future Gamecocks to come. As we turn the page of this new chapter uh, for the program, I just would really like to express so much gratitude to Coach Tanner. He's always going to be Coach Tanner to me. Um, but to Coach Tanner and to Hillary Cox for believing in me. And we've had so many great conversations over the past few days about what this program means to the department, to so many alumni, to so many Gamecocks across the country. Um, and the vision that we have for it is really special. As I've reiterated several times, um, this program means the world to me. Um, and to so many, some, so many alumni, even people that are in the room. My catcher, PJ Fulmer, is here. She's got some great stories about me if you need them. My life has been impacted by Gamecocks for a really long time. And, and you might not know that about me, but I've been coached by Gamecocks for a really long time. Uh, my high school coach was Gamecock great, Tina Plew Whitlock. Um, she coached me in high school. I had the privilege of being coached by Tiff Tootle. She's a Hall of Famer. Um, and then I got to play for legendary Coach Compton here in the front, front row. And I've got some great stories about that that we can talk about another time. Um, but Coach Compton took a chance on me as a pitcher only. I was a PO. Um, and I don't know if she remembers this, but there was a time that she told me I wasn't allowed in the hitting facility. <laughs> I had the privilege to play and to work for Coach Beverly Smith, and to be honest with you, that has changed my career path. Um, it has provided me so many great opportunities, and I will forever be thankful for that. I believe to make a program championship caliber, it really boils down to you need the right people. Um, you need the right people in the program, and that starts with the staff, um, and I'm really, really excited soon um, to be able to tell you um, about the staff that I'm putting together. Um, it's a staff that has deep Carolina roots, um, which we love, and a staff that is very loyal and that I have a lot of trust in, a staff that is the best in the country at player development, player connections, um, and recruiting. Um, so as we talk about the right people, uh, we want to bring the best talent here to Carolina. This is the best place in America, and we're going to recruit coast to coast um, and bring the best players and the best talent that we can to this program to win the SEC, because that's what we're here to do, is to, is to win the league, and it is the premier league for softball in the country, um, and we want to be really successful in the conference. 
Um, also with recruiting, it's gonna be really important for my staff and I uh, that we put a fence up around the state. We want the best players in the region to come to the flag flagship school and to be gang Gamecocks for life. I'm really excited about getting to know the current team that's here. Um, I've Zoomed with them, talked with them briefly, and in the process of communicating with them one-on-one -on -one over the next few days. And we've got a lot of players to talk to over the next couple months this summer that have already committed here and just evaluating all of that. But my staff and I is gonna work tireless, tirelessly and really hard at making sure that we get the right people in this program to win. There really is no other person that's gonna be more passionate and love this program more than my staff and I. And our goal and our vision is to lead this program to championships in the SEC and get the program to Oklahoma City where it belongs. And I would really love to answer any questions that anyone might have. Hi, Ashley. Jack Welcher, GamecockCentral.com. Throughout all these years at Charlotte and even when you were an assistant mm -hmm. on staff here at South Carolina, did you ever envision or think about, hey, maybe I have a chance to come back and come home and be a head coach here someday? Absolutely. I, I love this place. And I was, I was telling someone earlier today in an interview that I was doing that my original plan was to be a high school history teacher. Um, I had a high school history teacher that really inspired me, I think it was my junior year of high school. Um, and I came here and got a bachelor's in history and then stayed to get a secondary education degree in social studies. Um, and then the game just never left me. And so then I started thinking about coaching and, and how that really, I think, was my path. Um, and here we are many years later. Um, so as I got into coaching and was provided many opportunities, um, yeah, this has always been my dream. Um, and I'm just really thankful for the opportunity because there, you don't get many chances to coach at your alma mater. John Whittle, TheBigSpur.com. You've been a player in the SEC, coached in the SEC at Ole Miss. The SEC record hasn't been great here recently. How how do you move? How do you change that trajectory? What what's the process of that like? Especially adding Oklahoma and Texas in there too. Yeah, a tall task, right? Um, yeah, college softball is just really booming across the country right now. It's really fun to watch. The talent in the game is the best it's ever been. Um, so really excited for the challenge. If if you you'll get to know me, but my staff and I like we. We love really great competition. Um, so we're gonna welcome those opportunities to play the best as we become one of the best. And we've gotta get the right players. I mean, that's what it boils down to. We've gotta recruit really well. Um, and that's just not on-field talent, but it's the right people off the field too. We just need to make sure that all across the board we have the right players um, and develop them into being the best. Um, so I, I was thinking about this the other day because I got asked a similar question and I think, um, it really, once all of those things are in place, then it's my job to instill the belief in them that they can be anyone they play. You know, and that, um, that was something that we did really well at Charlotte. Um, you know, as I think back to the teams that I've coached the past few years is, you know, when they put the uniform on, you know, they believed they could be anyone in the country. Um, and, you know, they had a lot of success at some of those things. Um, so. Now for me, just to watch our current team put on the Carolina uniform and, and really go out and believe that they're the best and that they're gonna beat anyone they play, um, I think that's what it's gonna be about. Julia Westerman, WIS-TV. Uh, you're very emotional right now taking mm -hmm. this position. Just mm -hmm. what drives your emotional connection to the sport? Um, I, I think I'm, I'm just over flowing with emotions because of, you know, this is home for me. Um, I just, I'm just so humbled to be able to lead it. I, I just know so many people that have played in the program before me. Um, and I just want to make those people so proud, you know, now that um, I lead the program. And a lot of those players and, and, and people that um, Coach Compton coached, they've reached out to me over the past few days and it's just been really humbling and brings back a lot of emotion to me that, you know, that I get to represent the program and, you know, that is something that I just take really serious and I think that's why I get some, so many emotions about it. Yeah. Hey, Ashley, Jordan Kay with The State. Um, you're obviously now at an SEC program that'll have more resources than, than you've had in years past. Um, what do you have a plan of, of how you want to use the the transfer portal or you know how to uh, fundraise for for NIL dollars to, to help your program? 
Yeah, that's a loaded question. Um, you know, it just means more, right? Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's, we've got to do it all. I think with what we want to do with the program and the level that we want to win, like we're, we're going to be really good at all of it. Um, so, you know, the transfer portal, we have a lot of experience with. Um, the last few years at Charlotte, I think it was a way that um, we brought a lot of experience into the program that I was leading at that time and had some success in a short amount of time. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think you have to use the portal. I think it's, um, I think it's a great way to give players opportunities at a, at a, at a new start. Um, everyone has a story, everyone has a different journey, and I think it's really important to get to know that in the recruiting process as we go through the portal. Um, but we're embracing it. Um, you know, we want to get the best high school players in the country, but we also want to get the best players out of the portal, and we need both. Like, we need to bring both in and make that cohesive and, you know, marry those things together to have the best team that we can have here. So um, we're running full force in the portal and um, excited about those opportunities over the next few months as we build this team for the fall. Um, as far as NIL goes, I, I, yeah, we're going to need a lot of support, um, and I think for me, that's going to be building relationships in the community and just building a lot of rapport with you know people that are excited about what we're doing that are going to support us. Um, so I think that comes down to personal connections and relationships that I'm going to work really ha hard at moving forward. Mm -hmm. Can you describe the the first phone call that you got from Coach Tanner and what was going through your mind at that point? Had you been preparing for that moment for any length of time and knew what you were going to say? I don't know if you can prepare for that phone call. Um, you know, I'm a very be where your feet at, are at type of person, and so, uh, you know, I was very – engulfed in my in my job um, at that point uh, when I got the call from Coach Tanner. Um, but yeah, really excited to answer the phone and then obviously we'll start spinning on the opportunity and um, you know, he we've had really great conversation. We met for four hours Sunday night and just really talked about the program and talked about, you know, the vision that we have for the program and um, so yeah, it was it was really great conversation and I haven't seen Coach Tanner a really long time, so it was really great to, you know, just be able to talk to him about, you know, what he's done here since he became the athletic director, and um, so we we just had really great conversation, and, you know, yeah, I was, like, thrilled to get the phone call, um, you know, that original phone call. Hey, Ashley Chaz Frazier, ABC Columbia. As mm -hmm. you, you know, rewind the tape, you're, you're Don in the garden, garden in black on the softball diamond, you're pitching. Mm -hmm. Now we fast forward into this moment. You're speaking to us as the mm -hmm. uh, newest head coach. Describe the pride and passion you're going to take into this role that has come about for you. Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know if there's another person that's going to be more passionate about it than me. Um, you know, I just, I think this is the best place in America, and I think we can make it such a destination for the best recruits in the country. Um, I want to give our players the experience that I had, the experience that changed my life, changed the trajectory of my life, my career. Um, so I'm just, I don't know if you could bottle that up, you know, that passion and just enthusiasm, but, you know, I think that I want every player that puts on the uniform to feel the same way that I did and now continue to do when I lead the program. Um, so I don't know if I can put it into words, but it's, it's a pretty large amount of passion. <laughs> Ashley, you talked mm -hmm. about putting a fence around the state of South Carolina, mm -hmm. and obviously there's another program like Clemson in mm -hmm. this state as well. How do you go about making South Carolina the premier program in this state? Yeah, well, we've got to create an environment that the best players want to be a part of. That's where it all starts. So, um, you know, my staff and I, we're going to work really hard at creating that environment, and that's a holistic approach of um, giving them the best player development we can give them. Um, our game is really good right now, so being able to guarantee them that they're going to walk into the program and leave a better player and a better person, you know, growing them off the field uh, while challenging them on the field to be the best that they can be. Um, so I think, you know, we've got to create a winning culture, a winning tradition, a winning, winning championships. Um, and, you know, I'm really competitive, so we're going to work really hard at beating Clemson at any recruit we go up against. Ashley, back here. Mm -hmm. I'm at a pool with Watch Fox. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to Columbia. Thank you. Um, 
Don Staley has shown a lot of support towards the softball mm -hmm. team uh, this past season and to Bev and everything. I'm wondering, have you heard from any other coaches at South Carolina welcoming you? I know it's been a fast yeah. couple of days, but I'm just curious. Yeah. Um, I actually got a call from Coach Beamer last night. So, you know, that was a really fun phone call. Um, obviously been a huge fan of his since he's been here and the work that he's done with the football program and can't wait to see the inner workings of that uh, myself now in person. Uh, but yeah, I was, I was really thrilled to have a conversation with Coach Beamer and just how welcoming he was to me um, last night on the phone when he called me. Um, so, um, but yeah, really excited to get to know the whole the whole coaching body here, um, you know, just there's a lot of new people here since I left and, um, you know, just creating those relationships internally is only going to create more passion and, um, you know, better opportunity for our program. Hi, Will Kelly, Lexington County Chronicle. Uh, being the second alumnus to come back and coach here at South Carolina, just what does that mean to you? To be honest, I, um, I was unaware of that statistic until recently uh, when that was shared to me, I think about 24 hours ago, and um, that's just the coolest thing ever. I had no idea th about that, um, so it just means a lot to me. Um, I, I think not only just as an alum of the softball program that you know, Coach Compton built, but you know, just holistically as a being alum from the entire department, I think it's um, just really special and something that I've been processing the last couple, couple hours really as I found that out. You mentioned your competitiveness, your mm -hmm. winning percentage as a head coach is slightly behind uh, maybe a, another household member who is a head coach. <laughs> are y'all are competitive in, in that regard and how do y'all make each other better as, as, as coaches? Yeah, um, we are very competitive. Um, I think, you know, Robert is, um, he's my safe place. Um, so we never compete with each other on wins and losses. We just try to support each other as much as we can. And I think, you know, he's been my perfect partner because, you know, he gets it, he understands it. Um, wins and losses, hard times, bad games, great games, even losing recruits, I mean, just, the gamut of things that you experience as a coach. And um, he's taught me so much um, about what it's like to be a really great coach, um, you know, since we've been together. And so we are very competitive, um, but we try to keep the win-loss record out of the house. <laughs> Ashley, I know it's been a few days, but the way you've seen things at South Carolina over your time here and with the team now, what's the biggest barrier between the team right now and becoming a national title contender every year? That's a great question. Um, you know, I think I, you know, I've been a fan, you know, for the last decade or a little bit more than that, just observing the program and where it's at. And, um, you know, I think, I think the biggest thing right now the program needs is just to be more competitive in the league. It is the premier league of, of college softball. And so we're just going to work really hard to get the right players and the right systems. Cause at the end of the day, like the win and the win loss column is a byproduct of the systems that we have within the program. And so, um, you know, all I can do moving forward is to come in and change the system, change the process, bring the right people in, um, and then, you know, have to believe that the, the outcomes are going to be a byproduct of all of that uh, when it comes to wins and losses. Awesome. Thank you guys so much.